everyone, it's Dan from the Rock Nerd Radio Show. On today's episode of the Rock Nerd Radio Show, we're doing another edition of Which is Better. We're going to be looking at two Ben Riley Spider-Man figures. We're going to look at that original vintage card one from a year or so ago, and we're going to look at the Spider-Man Beyond Ben Riley that just came out, also on a vintage retro card, but uh, not quite cartoon-inspired. Doesn't quite matter about the packaging. We're looking at the figures, so let's take a look and see if we can't decide which one is better. Come geek out with us on the Rock Nerd Radio Show. Just like always, round one on which is better is about the paint and overall appearance of the figures. And, uh, you know, these are both Ben Riley in his Spider-Man costumes. One is his first uh, Spider-Man costume being this one. The other is a Spider-Man Beyond one. And, you know, the thing is, there's some pros and cons on both of these. Uh, first off, the paintwork on both are, is, is, is incredible. Um, and I really like how they got that spider to be, like, off-centered, the way it was drawn in the comics. He is pinless, so you don't see any pins popping out, which I like. The major thing that I don't like, the biggest problem I have with this one, is the head. It looks cartoonishly big. The eyes look a little too big. It kind of takes away from the rest of the figure for me. Whereas this one, you know, we have a nice light blue. His is a little dark. Um, we have that spider emblem painted on there beautifully. I have no paint errors on mine. The webs look great. Uh, you know, I love the way the hands look with the uh, webbing on, on the uh, the thumb uh, index and, and uh, you know, pinky finger. And, like, everything looks great except that giant red peg. You can see the pegs on this one. And, you know, this is kind of a takeaway for me, seeing that giant red peg. Now... You know, when he is standing like this, it you don't really see it. It is when you're kind of dynamically posing him that that stuff starts to pop through. Um, but I, I like the brighter blue on a Spider-Man. I like a nice bright Spider-Man costume. So uh, winner of round one is going to be our first Ben Riley costume because, uh, again, I just really like that that blue on it. This is a little too dark, and the head is just really killing it for me. Round two is for the articulation, and both of these figures are on that updated Spider-Man body. Um, and it really is a great body. You know, um, this is a straight reuse of the Renew Your Vows one. This is a reuse of that retro card Spider-Man. They have the same style of articulation. They both have butterfly joints, double jointed elbows, double jointed legs, that really cool waist and, and you know, just the way the body moves, chest moves. Um, these guys are almost exactly the same, except for the fact that our amazing Spider-Man Beyond has the toe articulation. And while I, uh, it doesn't make or break a figure for me, in fact, I could take it or leave it, it is just a little bit extra that makes this one pull through in the end. So our Beyond Spider-Man wins round two for articulation. Round three is the accessory round, and our uh, first Ben Riley from that vintage card wave comes with three sets of hands. You see the open kind of crawling hands on him now. He also came with a right and a left web shooting hand, very nice, and he also comes with uh, two fists, which is fantastic for him. You know, he should have two fists, a matching set, so he can punch the bad guys if he needs to. Um, also, it does bear to mention that aside from the hands, these web shooter pieces on him are separate pieces. So if you pop a hand off like that, um, you can take off the web shooter and just have a bare arm if you wanted to. Um, with this costume, with this look, um, you know, the web shooters were always part of it. So I wouldn't really plan on taking them off. But of course, it is easy enough to just pop another hand on. And uh, there you go. Now he has a fist and an open crawling hand. So uh, some options, display options with this Ben Riley. The Spider-Man Beyond Ben Riley comes with a pair of fists like you see here, but then he only comes with one crawling hand and one web shooting hand. Um, and I find this very frustrating. You know, we are paying $25 for these figures. And for the for this figure to have no build figure part and to have only one set of matching hands and then these, you know, two odd ones, it kind of bothers me. Now, I'm sure there are other Spider-Man hands that I could probably stick on here if I wanted to have two web shooting hands or two crawling hands. I haven't color matched to see how well everything works, but uh, I was definitely a little annoyed to see that with this Spider-Man, he doesn't have three matching sets of hands, unlike the other uh, the other Ben Riley. 
So because the Spider-Man Beyond Spider-Man doesn't have three matching sets of hands, while this one does, I'm giving our round three to our first vintage card, Ben Riley, because uh, I like having the matching hands. It, it just makes a big difference for me. Round four is about price and availability. And at the time of this recording, these Spider-Men really aren't going for crazy amounts of money. Um, ben, the first Ben Riley Spider-Man, I can still find online on eBay for like 25 bucks. Not a bad price, um, considering that's what normal legends are going for. You can get a loose one for a little cheaper, um, but you can really only find him online at the time of this recording. This Spider-Man, the Beyond one, I found in a Target today when I am recording it. Um, I actually didn't order him off Hasbro Pulse. Normally I do, but, uh, this one is available in stores. He is going for $25. Uh, it is available on most major e-tailer, online retailer shops. Um, and honestly, I don't know if there's a lot of love for this one, so he might end up getting clearanced out at some point. So really, the Beyond one is probably going to be easier to find right now. And if you wait a couple weeks, don't take my word on it. I don't have any inside information. But if you wait a little bit, you might be able to catch him on a sale. So I'm saying the Beyond Spider-Man wins round four for price and availability. All right, as of this round, we have a tie on our hands. The last round is the display compatibility round, and this is going to decide which figure is better. Now, looking at these two figures, really, there's nothing wrong with them. If you want a good representation of Ben Riley in your Spider-Man collection, both might do, but honestly, I grew up reading comics in the 90s. My first introduction to Ben Riley as Spider-Man was in this costume. And, uh, you know, this is the one I think of when I think of Ben in the Spider-Man costume. The Spider-Man Beyond run, you know, it, it wasn't my favorite Spider-Man run. I am happy to have a representation of that era in my collection. I'm probably not picking up Ben as Chasm. Um, but, uh, this is kind of just like it, I wanted it to, cause I like having all the Spider-Man costumes, at least the main continuity Spider-Man costumes is not my favorite era of Spider-Man. Not that this was a shining error either, but this is one I think of as Ben. So for my display, if I could only have one, it's going to be this version of Ben, because it also kind of lets me eventually maybe make a, uh, make a spider carnage as well. It was by no means a runaway victory, but the vintage card Ben Riley in his original Spider-Man costume wins out on this version of which is better. Uh, what do you think? What are your thoughts on either of these Spider-Man? Can the clone ever really be better than the original Spider-Man? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below and uh, leave this video a like if you want. Remember, you can always check out the Rock Nerd Radio podcast on all your favorite podcasting platforms. And until next time, I've been Dan. You've been pretty awesome. I'll see you around. Come geek out with us on the rock.